In this report, I share my retire early in Capos, Costa Rica for $1,134 per month, estimated cost of living. After spending a few months touring around Panama, we jumped on a bus and headed further north into Costa Rica. Our first stop in Costa Rica was Uvita. We loved Uvita, but it bothered us that they charged $6 per person to go to the beach. We had to go a few kilometers north to find a free beach there in Uvita. So after we completed our retired chief in Uvita Costa Rica report, we jumped on the bus and headed further north about an hour to investigate Capos, Costa Rica. This place felt more livable to us. Capos is a small oceanfront town, but there is a river between town and the beach, so the configuration is a bit odd. Capos is primarily Costa Ricans because the tourists hang out mainly along the road uh, between Capos and Manuel Antonio National Park. So it was a little easier to find some uh, Costa Rican culture and food in Capos. There seem to be more mom and pop restaurants, clothing stores, and everyday local life in Capos, which meant it was a little easier to get delicious local food for cheaper. Capos was one of my favorites in Costa Rica when I was there nine years ago. Many of the locals that serve the tourists that visit nearby Man Antonio uh, National Park live in and around Capos. Manuel Antonio is one of the most visited tourist places uh, in Costa Rica because of all the wildlife that lives in the park. Despite all the tourists going through the Capos area, Capos has somehow been able to maintain much of its local charms. Here's a map showing where Capos is in relation to Manuel Antonio National Park. The good news is that the bus between Capos and the Manuel, Manuel Antonio is only 335 Cologne, uh, which is about a 50 cents US to ride the bus between the two. Um, so you can live in the area uh, of Capos without a car. Plus almost all of the beaches in Capos are free. First, I will share my estimated cost of living in Capos, Costa Rica. Then I discuss my early retirement livability factors such as walkability, food, social considerations, visa information, healthcare, weather, and real estate. After that, I'll show you our favorite beach, the canopy tour we went on, and the Manuel Antonio National Park. Then we will show you our favorite places to buy groceries and our favorite restaurants, along with the costs of some of the meals we had. But you do not need to take notes. I will provide a link to all this information and writing at the end of this video, including Google Map links. Okay, cost of living in Capos, Costa Rica. Here's my estimated cost of living if Chung and I were to live in Capos, Costa Rica. But we are all different, so you'll have to visit and do an exploratory visit in order to estimate your estimated cost of living here. Okay, rents. To rent an unfurnished one-bedroom apartment, you'll have to pay around $350 to $450 per month for local style accommodations, depending on the square footage, of course. If you want to live in a more Americanized place, it could easily cost you another 100 or so per month, depending on how much space and modern amenities you want. Since this is my estimate of what it would cost for me to live here and I'm comfortable with local style accommodations, I'll use 350 per month for rent, which does not include utilities. You'll not find local style apartments advertised online. You have to put your feet on the ground. I also provide a link to my report about how to find perfect apartments around the world. Okay, utilities. This is at sea level, so you'll need AC many nights of the year to sleep. But I estimate my electric bill will be around 100 per month. My gas will run about 10 per month, water about 10 per month. So my electric, gas, and water would average about $120 per month. Groceries. Based upon our time here and the money we spent on groceries, we estimate about $350 US dollars per month on groceries for two people. If we went out to eat twice a week, once for date night and once for lunch somewhere, we would spend around $35 per week uh, or $140 per month in restaurants for the two of us. Cell phone data. The cost to recharge 
prepaid service is about $16 per month for Claro. My Android phone will act as a hotspot so we can both be on the internet at the same time when we are out of the house together. Laundry. We could send our laundry out once per week for about $12 to wash, dry, and fold, so about $48 per month. Water. The tap water is fairly clean in Capos, so we were just drinking out of the tap. Internet. The internet will be about $50 per month, depending on how fast you need your service. Transportation. Everything you would want in Capos is fairly walkable, and they have local buses that cost about 50 cents per person, so we would be able to live on about $60 per month in transportation. And that would take us all through Capos and um, Manuel Antonio and the beaches we talk about. Okay, alcohol is optional, but local beers in Capos are around $1.20 US in the stores. Uh, if you watch and buy in bulk on sale, you may be able to save a little. But in bars and restaurants, beers run three to six dollars US. So for two people, we estimate about 120 US per month for alcohol since we would drink more at home. Okay, let's sum up those numbers. Uh, rent, 350. Groceries, 350. Utilities, 120. Restaurants, 140. Sell, $16. Laundry, 48. Water, zero. Internet, 50. And transportation, $60. If you sum that up, you come to $1,134 uh, in recurring per month. And then optional, uh, 120 in alcohol uh, would put you at $1,254 per month. The above cost of living is for two people, but it's just an estimate on the low end. For full understanding of what it would cost you to live here, visit Numbio in Capos and add anything you spend money on in your home country that's not mentioned in the table. Our cost of living are generally much lower than a new traveler's because we are great bargain hunters, but there are a few people that might be able to live cheaper than we do. Never move anywhere until you've visited first personally to verify the living costs for your lifestyle and needs. I'm not guaranteeing these prices. These are just my notes and estimates from the time of my visit. Your costs will likely be drastically different. Our estimated cost to retire early in Capos, Costa Rica for $11.34 per month is less than most expats report spending. You'll hear more typical spending in the range of 2,000 to 4,000 per month. But people spending that much also have higher incomes or pensions. They often report spending more on entertainment, eating out, and alcohol. Many also have more expensive cars or cars at all and houses or apartments. If you're going to try to retire cheap offshore, make sure to read my report the two biggest risks of retiring early for cheap overseas, which explains why you should have emergency funds available for unexpected large expenses. Okay, Capos, livability factors and overall retirement desirability score. Here are some of the factors I think about when I consider a place for early retirement potential. After I discuss each factor, I will assign an overall retirement desirability score to Capos. Walkability, I would say high desirability. I love living in a walkable area of the world where you can walk to restaurants, grocery stores, nightlife, parks, and other interesting things to do. Capos is a very much walkable central area. In addition, Capos has a marina that we are able to walk to and watch the sunset with $1.60 happy hour drinks. Link to that below. Internet, hi. The AT&T speed test in our apartment Wi-Fi was 24 uh, megabits per second download speeds and 12 megabits per second upload speeds. So the internet speeds were better than what we need for our purposes. If you need a certain internet speed for your business, I suggest reading my process for finding the perfect department, which fulfills all of your needs, which includes testing the Wi-Fi, and I provide a link for that. Okay, food, I would say hi. There are several really good local restaurants called sodas offering delicious local food for four to five dollars per entree. There was also a decent assortment of international style restaurants when considering the size of Capos, but the international food seems pricey with most meals starting around eight to ten and up, with super expensive places also as you get closer to Manuel Antonio National Park where the tourists stay. Weather, medium. The, the warmest months are February through April when daytime highs average around 
33 Celsius or 91 Fahrenheit. Uh, the, and the nights uh, average around 27 Celsius or 80 Fahrenheit. The other months are almost the same with average daytime highs of around 32 Celsius or 89. And night lows around 26 Celsius or 79 Fahrenheit. So the temperatures do not vary all that much by season. Capos feels muggy March through January with October being the muggiest and February being the least muggy feeling. The rainy season is May through November, making the sunny season December through May. But make sure to visit during both seasons before deciding to live here. Things to do. Hi, deep sea fishing, tennis, snorkeling, scuba, surfing, kite surfing, stand up boarding, kayaking, swimming, biking, live music, uh, cooking, gym, yoga, restaurants, running, shopping, coffee shops, dirt biking, quads, and hiking. Healthcare, I would say hi. There's a clinic in Capos and the nearest hospital is just five kilometers outside of Capos. But for more complicated cases, you'll want to visit the best hospitals in the country in San Jose, Costa Rica, the capital. San Jose is about three hours from Capos, depending on traffic. Once you become uh, and gain residency in Costa Rica, uh, you can sign up for public health care, which costs about 7 to 11 percent of your income or pension if you are retired. Healthcare is one of the major reasons many retirees move to Costa Rica. Okay, social considerations. I would say medium. If you decide to retire in Capos, you'll want to learn some Spanish since it is more local centric and less expat centric in Capos. You'll find many people in day-to-day -day life that speak some English in Capos, but your life will be more full if you're able to communicate meaning meaningfully with everyone around you. Okay, expats, I would say medium. There are several Facebook groups for expats living in Costa Rica. This is the largest in Capos link provided, but it's not specifically geared towards expats, but most of the correspondence is in English. I suggest people join these groups to ask questions and get answers to questions that only an expat would know. Make sure to uh, make friends with both locals and expats for a richer experience while living here. I explain why in my report, the top 10 mistakes international retirees make, link provided. Okay, real estate, I would say hi. On the day I wrote this report, I was curious how much a small house would cost in or near Capos, so I used Google to translate. Homes for sale in Capos, Costa Rica in Spanish, and I translated that into Casas Avanta, Capos, Costa Rica, and the following and I Googled that and the following house was offered for sale for 80,000 US. It's actually property with two houses on it. And uh, the property probably of course won't be available for long, but I wanted to have an idea of what a place big enough for me uh, would cost if I moved to Capos, Costa Rica. This is much cheaper than anything else I saw. So you may have to dig deeper for a few months to get something similar. But I never recommend buying real estate until you have lived somewhere for at least two to three years. In fact, I have a report explaining why retired expats should not buy real estate overseas for the first two to three years. Make sure to read that report before deciding to buy real estate. Okay, visa. I would say hi. Citizens of many countries are given a 90-day visa free tourist stamp upon arrival in Costa Rica. If you fall in love with Costa Rica during your exploratory visit and decide to stay, you'll need to apply for your retirement visa. Uh, the retiree residence status has no minimum age requirement, but you must show a permanent income from pension, retirement funds, or Social Security of about 1000 US per month, along with police clearance. Okay, safety. I would say hi. Costa Rica is generally one of the safer countries to live or travel to in Central and South America. Costa Rica was ranked 39th in the safety uh, on the Global Peace Index for 2021, link provided. But make sure to read my report on how to travel the world safely, including in your home country. I provide all my tips and tricks that have kept me safe for 14 plus years traveling the world. Okay, Cape, Capos, Costa Rica, overall retirement desirability score. I would say hi. This is a small city consisting primarily of Costa Ricans, so it includes experiencing the Costa Rican culture 
which is not so common in beach cities here. Nature is amazing in the Cape Bose area with beaches, jungles, and mountains. And it is just a short bus ride to Manuel Antonio National Park, which is one of the most famous protected habitats for animals. I have ranked uh, Capo's high desirability to retire early for cheap because it offers one of the reasons I would retire uh, overseas, which is to learn about new cultures, and Capo's has that. Uh, the local culture also is what helps keep my cost of living down. Plus, although cheaper than many beaches, uh, Capo's still offers what tourists want, like beaches, jungles, wild animals, and a more great assortment of international restaurants. Next, I'll show you our favorite things to do in Cape Post, then our favorite restaurants and grocery stores. Okay, you're going to want to take a canopy tour, uh, which is zip lines in the tree canopy above the jungle. Chungman had never been on a zip line tour before, so I decided to take her on this tour because it had the longest zip line uh, in the Cape Post area. The tour costs $80 per person and lasts about a half day and includes lunch. Plus they pick you up and drop you off from your accommodations. We really enjoyed the tour, including the food, though Chung was a little afraid of being high in the trees. This is a great choice if you're interested in taking a canopy tour. Uh, Chung made the above video. It is a short um, uh, video, but it'll give you an idea of what the tour is about. Okay, Manuel Antonio Park. Of course, you also have to visit Manuel Antonio National Park while you're in Capos. We booked a guided tour of Manuel Antonio with this guy named Edwin, link provided, because he had the best equipment and the best reviews online. The truth is, I doubt we would have been able to spot even 10% of the wild animals he showed us in the park if we hadn't hired him. Plus, he had this great camera setup that took pictures of all the animals through a telescope. That made all the difference in seeing the animals up close, and he gave us all the photos so we could share them with you. You should hire Edwin for sure. He's not even more expensive than the other guides. Okay, best free beach near Capos, Costa Rica. Once you've seen Manuel Antonio and taken the canopy tour in the jungle, you're going to need a day to just relax on the beach. Just grab the uh, 50 cent uh, US bus or 50, just grab the bus from the bus terminal in Cape Post and ride over to the public beach shown on the below map. It costs 50 cents. This is also the bus terminal where you catch the bus to other cities in Costa Rica. The beach is the last stop before it turns around and goes back to Cape Post. So just jump off. Plus, there are bus stops along the way from Cape Post to the beach, so you can ride the same bus no matter where you are staying along the way. There are restaurants and convenience stores along the road in front of the beach, and you can rent a chair and an umbrella for about $10 per day. Uh, okay, Cape Post, best restaurants and grocery stores. There are links below to our favorite restaurants in Cape Post uh, with our favorites on top. Uh, the first one restaurant, Cerdo Feliz. This is the best local food in all of Costa Rica during the four weeks we toured the country. Uh, when you are in Costa Rica, look for the word soda on restaurants. That means local mom and pop Costa Rican food. Order the quesada, a traditional dish with beef, pork, chicken, or vegetarian at this restaurant for 3,200 colones, which is $5, which includes your drink. This was so delicious, we kept going back over and over again. Okay, Soda Sanchez. This was our second favorite restaurant in Capos. Again, order the Casada. It was almost as good as the above restaurant and only cost about 50 cents more. It's in the, it's in the downtown area of, of um, Capos, so he probably has higher rents. Okay, uh, this third restaurant, uh, this was our third favorite soda restaurant in Capos, and it also has live music from time to time here at night. The food prices were similar to the other sodas. Okay, finally, the Double Hook Sports Bar. This is one of the best happy hours in Cape Post because the drinks are just $1.60 US during happy hour. Plus it has an amazing view of the sunset over the marina, which is full of luxury yachts and fishing boats. They also have 
a great happy hour deals on finger food. Link provided. Okay, El Avion. This is one of the most famous restaurants in the area, not for the food so much. It's more famous for the amazing view of the Pacific Ocean and the full-sized airplane built into the restaurant that you can see from the road. You can also get uh, in the cockpit and take pictures. Uh, the meals are more expensive here, starting for around $10. Uh, and here is where we shopped in Capos for grocery stores. Uh, Super Joseph. Uh, we stayed in Airbnb, which I'll show you below, for the week we investigated the Capos area. That Airbnb was in a small village called Manuel Antonio, which is between Capos and the National Park of the same name. Uh, when we just needed one or two things, we shopped in this grocery store near our house. It was expensive, so when we wanted more than a few items, we shopped at the following store in Capos called Pali. This place had better prices. Okay, where we stayed. We stayed in this Airbnb during the seven days we spent in Capos. We love the place, but it's just not a sustainable budget for us long term at $35 per night. So rent something just for the first week or so and then read my report about how to find perfect apartments around the world. You'll almost never find the best long-term deals on Airbnb. They're just for short term. Thanks for reviewing our report. Retire early in Capos, Costa Rica for $11.34 per month. Make sure to grab a free copy of my ebook, How I Fired My Boss and Traveled the World for 14 Years. Please subscribe to Vagabond Buddha or our YouTube channel to watch us move around the world 14 plus years and 67 countries so far. This is Dan of Vagabond Awake, the YouTube channel for VagabondBuddha.com. Thank you for stopping by. The world is your home. What time will you be home for dinner? Hey, if you liked our video, please like, comment, or subscribe. Any of that would help our business. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Click the link in the notes below this video to get a copy of this content. Plus, grab a free copy of my ebook, How I Fired My Boss and Traveled the World for 13 Years. While you're there, check out our catalog of retired cheap reports all over the world and our hobby income course that we just released. Thanks so much.